Hey there, tired of dull, lifeless backgrounds ruining your videos? Well, not anymore. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a fake studio background that looks incredibly professional and instantly levels up your content. No fancy equipment, just simple steps, smart tricks, and a bit of creativity. By the end of this video, you will have a setup that looks sharp, feels polished, and grabs attention every time. Let's get started and transform your space into a stunning virtual studio. A professional background makes all the difference. Why fake background? Well, maybe you don't have the resources to set up a very expensive and modern background. AI has made it possible. You can see the one on your screen. That is my studio background. One of them actually. Now, it is only four steps. So the first step is what kind of background do you want to create? The kind of background you want to create will determine what you will do. Now you go straight to ChatGPT and you ask ChatGPT, I want to create a studio background for this. I want to, I want you to bring decks. I want you to do this. ChatGPT will help you. Then you can ask ChatGPT to generate it for you, or you can go to any other AI image generating software. So after you've obtained the picture, now you put it somewhere and then come back to the first step. The first step is the materials you need. You need a green screen. I'm talking about the actual video recording. The green screen, it is optional though, but it is good. You can have a quality image. Then you need a video editing software like Camtasia, CapCut. Then you need proper lighting and then any other additional setup that will help you have quality video. Then number two, now that you have the material, you set up the green screen. Make sure it is not crumpled, well ironed. Then you position your cameras well, either a camera or a phone. And then you set up the lighting. Make sure you have even lightning system if you don't have lightning don't worry sit closer to a window open it so that you have good lighting in the room if you are using the window then the advice is that don't sit for your back to face the window you should sit and then the window should rather face you then the camera will be in front of the window for even lightning system then the next step is what i'm going to demonstrate and that is what you are waiting for trust me how you can change the background so in this video i'm going to use CapCut to change the background so the videos i played earlier for you when i'm editing you will see the raw video you go about it now let's meet in the next session where we will change the background all right so welcome to the fun aspect that is customization of your background like i said we are using CapCut. so this is our interface for CapCut. Now we are going to make it quick. So we are going to import, but I prefer the drag and drop. So let me go and bring in my picture. In fact, the video I took, I used Camtasia to take the unwanted part, trim, adjust the audio and everything so that when I come here, it will be pretty easy. I have a complete video on how to use Camtasia. And then I also have another complete video on using CapCut. So now I need a background. So this background, I used Firefly to generate it. The prompt was given to me by ChatGPT and I used Firefly to generate it. So now you can see that this is my background. The Welcome back in Modern 2. We will learn how to edit our first video. So you can see that this is my background for my video. And like I was saying in the intro, the part one, you need either a green screen or a plain background it's always advisable you bring the image first your background now make sure the background fits well then you bring the video great so you can see that my video is now inserted now what i will say is that anytime you are taking the video make sure that your hands if you are doing any action you can see on the screen it shouldn't be moving left right the action should be straight in front of you because if it moves left and right from your body that wide you realize after you've taken the background off it will be disturbing you so the first thing i normally do when the video is inserted 
come to this side and reduce it so that you can drag the background so it will be equal to the video now you click on the video i do some small touches to the video come to retouch check it and then you put it on any margin when you produce the video and you don't like it you change it but these are the settings i prefer to use now let's go to audio and then when you come to audio come to normalize loudness reduce background noise then you come back to video again you are good to go now come to remove which is the last aspect so i told you if you are using a green screen then you can use the chroma key it will make it easy for you you just select pick a color then you go to the video and you click on but this one i can't use it because it is not green and it will not work perfectly so i'll go to the auto remover then you wait patiently you can see that it is saying 0.00 so you wait patiently for it to load up to 100 percent then automatically the background will be ripped off now while the video is almost up and one last thing the seat you use for the video make sure where you lean your back is not that big for it to show on your shoulders i mean here it shouldn't show here or sideways better so you can sit on the seat that has no resting place for your back that one to make the video very nice and then you can see that my video starts from waist level and above so let's play and see and so let's get to this great so you can see that my video background has fit perfectly now we have to export it now the last trick i would like to share with you always make sure the background you generate you wear something that will make it nice it will complement it you can see that this background that i've used is dark and the shirt i'm wearing is not all that bright though it's colorful it's not bright so you can realize that it will not look real but if you check this particular background you can see that this one makes it real so that is the secret I'll give you. And now let's produce our video. So you give it a name and you click on exports. So while it is exporting, now let's look at the tips and tricks for realistic effects. Make sure you have good lightning system and then avoid these common mistakes. Don't let your background look too fake. That is how you can see i did not generate images a lot of things at my background this one is just okay the, the flower is just okay so don't let it look too fake and then you can also use motion background if you have that one you can use it and here is our video let's play and see what we've done Thanks for watching. Now you have got the tools to create your own stunning fake studio background right from home. Remember, it's not about having a big budget. It's about being creative and being intentional with your setup. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on more content creation hacks. Got questions or want to show off your own studio setup? Drop a comment below. I did love to see what you create. Until next time, stay creative, stay sharp, and keep leveling up your content.